friends, I'm Wani and welcome to Wani's house and welcome to today's But mm -hmm. First Coffee. So, um, once again, I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, I'm like, what are we going to talk about today? What, what topics can we hit on today? And I want to remind you guys that if there are topics that you would like to hit on or you want to talk about, leave them down in my comments so that I can gather them and work on them and, you know, kind of ponder on what I would like to um, discuss in the topic. And so I was watching the news and the topic came up about the stimulus checks. And there was like, where are the stimulus checks? And then I looked at my phone and I was like, I saw another topic, I think it was on Yahoo News, and it was talking about where are the stimulus checks and we might, well, we might not get another stimulus check. So, I was like, huh, that would be a very good topic to talk about. And, um, and that's my, that's my topic. Where are the stimulus checks? So not necessarily for me because I have been um, blessed to be able during this entire pandemic, I have been working from home. And even now, this is like my third week. This week would have been, would be my third week of going in my one day a week where I'm just basically just closed up in my office. But I have still been able to generate a paycheck. Mr. B is, uh, on the other hand, he is furloughed. His, um, the business that he's in sort of relies on people going into their buildings and things like that. So he has different contracts that he would actually have to go to. And because people are working from home or they are, have laid off or whatever the case may be, the numbers aren't up yet. So he is furloughed. So he was getting, um, well, he is getting unemployment. And then he was able to also benefit from the additional monies that the federal government gave. But what about those people who did not get any um, unemployment or people who are still trying to get unemployment? Or what about um, people who are on fixed incomes who may be retired or have other things going on? And I thought about them and I know that is the question that they're asking. They're asking themselves because surely the government didn't think that that twelve hundred dollars, or if you're a a, a a couple, you're married, that twenty four hundred dollars wasn't gonna last you for six months. I know there was no way for us to know how long we would be out of commission as far as employment. But I'm still trying to figure out. Why didn't the U.S. do like the other countries? In Japan, Japan gave their people $900 and then they gave them a stipend every month. Up in Canada, Canada, I think they got $2,000 a month per um, person, um, per month, and I think it goes into January. And they are a whole lot better off as far as the... Um, as COVID than we are. I am like, I'm like, why didn't America and the US do something like that? Because the $1,200 was not a lot of money. We had already at the time, by the time we got it, we had already been unemployed or you had been out of work for two months. If you're lucky enough to have had a mortgage that would work with you and um, kind of help you with your mortgage, some people's mortgage company did not work with them. Or if you had to come up with another um, way of trying to do things, how many people are being evicted right now? And that $1,200 just was not going to suffice then. So people are asking now, now the people are being evicted. The, um, the, the lines going that were going that was um, for the, the pantries, people picking up 
food because they just did not have any food. They had no money. Utilities. Um, we don't want to talk about utilities. It's been so hot. And in some places where I know it is probably worse than it is here in Georgia, I can imagine what the electric bills are. And if you're running your air conditioner, our house, like I said before, is total electric. And the last couple of weeks, we've been running it. So I know what our electric bill is going to be. But the thing about what I wanted to say was about um, regarding the stimulus checks. When I when they first gave out those stimulus checks, I said to everybody, um, they want you to go out and they want you to spend that check. Now, if you didn't, now, but y'all know I'm a planner and I think about things in the future. And so, and I saw all the people in the stores spending that money. Now, you don't know. Now, if you listen to the... Um, what they were saying, you know, when we were shut down, we were shut down. Well, here in Georgia, I think we may have been shut down for three weeks, maybe three, four weeks. That's all. Three or four weeks, and then everybody thought we was going to be able to go back and live our lives. And no, that, that didn't happen. And as we saw all over the U.S., it happened the same way. And I keep saying the the economy is not going to open back up, guys, until people feel safe about going out. Yes, we might be going out a little bit now. We finally got people to begin to wear the mask. And now the numbers are slowly trickling down. But people still have bills. People still have um, car payments, insurance payments, um, if you're, um, 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 all the activities that maybe at one time your kids were in, of course they're not in them now because of the virus. So you may be saving money there, but you are spending more money because now your kids are learning virtually and they are eating you out of house and home. I know with me being here every day and Mr. B being here um, every day, we've been talking about like, Eggs. We 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 buy. We we are a family that eat eggs. Eggs for breakfast, and when we were both at work, we could have 18 eggs, and that will last the, us for about two months. Now, oh no, he bought a, a carton of 60 eggs, and they were gone in about three weeks. Three weeks. Three weeks. And you see, and, and he's cooking, he's making omelets, he's doing fried eggs, he's making um, the um, egg um, McMuffin sandwiches. The, um, food costs, and if you have more than one kid, and then you have a family at home, that $1,200 wasn't going to go far. So that's the question now. Where's the $1,200? Why couldn't we get like $1,200 if you was going to do that? Give it to people a month. And then you took away the unemployment. Then you took that away. So any extra of anything that people had is they don't have it anymore. So whatever your regular unemployment rate is, that's what you're going to have to live off of. But I knew that when people got those checks, they went out and they bought everything. I told you Mr. B and I could not find bikes for about two and a half months. We finally were able to find bikes in May, May or June. And finally, all the racks were clear. Could not find a bike no matter where we went. Everything was gone. I mean, in Target, in Walmart, in um, Dick's Sporting Goods, online, all the bikes were gone, but people went out and they spent their money and that's exactly what they wanted you to do. They wanted you to spend your money, put it back in the economy, but they're not thinking about you about tomorrow. I was thinking about tomorrow. We didn't do that. We, we did not do that. We saved. We, um, I was like, all right, babe, it's time to hunker down. This is what we're going to do. And that's what we did. We said because I could not re lie on there being another stimulus check and we just did not know what was going to happen because of the industry that mr b is in so i know a lot of people are asking where's my check what am i going to do how are we going to move forward um that 
is a good question, y'all. If you are like some people, you're watching the news every day and you're trying to see what Congress is going to do. Well, right now, Congress is on recess because, you know, we've had the Democratic National Convention and now we have the Republican Convention. And I don't think they don't come back until like the middle of September, if I'm not mistaken, like the 12th of September, something like that. So if anything should happen, it won't happen until around that time. I don't know, y'all. We're going to have a lot of people, I think, um, we're going to have to go back to the old days where you will see multi-generational people living together or you're going to see a lot of people out on the street. And if you're living in cities in like Los Angeles, that where the um the cost of living is high anyway that twelve hundred dollars really didn't do anything for places like that i would say like new york florida um with um california yeah that that really didn't because i when we were out there our mortgage was um what thirteen fifty and that was for a two bedroom apartment so yeah that that twelve hundred wouldn't have went very far at all so i just wanted to um let you guys know i will hope you guys are um gonna i know you're gonna get through this and i know it always seems like it's rough in the beginning while you're going through it not in the beginning while you're going through it it's rough you're trying to figure out how are you going to make it and on the other side when you get to the other side you will be able to look back and take this as um it's going to be a a, a a a a something for you to reflect on and you're going to be able to um this will be your testimony how you made it through but we can't rely on you know right now the government i i hate to say it you know, it, it is really, really um, hard to try to figure out your next move when you don't have the funds to move. It, it, it is. And I, it's not because I've had experience in it, but I just have empathy for people. I empathize because any day that could, that could be me. If I had gotten laid off or Mr. B had gotten laid off and once we had extinguished all of our savings we probably would have had enough to get us until january but after that i don't know because then it goes back to how do you how do you find a job when no one's hiring how, how do you do that when everywhere is closed how do you go for employment when your industry because now i'm in education a lot of um we, we have budget cuts so one thing about the budget cuts is no hiring. That's throughout the the whole system, the university system. So how do you do that when your area isn't hiring? How do you start over? How do you pick up? You know, I hear a lot of people talking about you reinvent yourself. When well, you can't reinvent yourself, when you're trying to figure out how you're gonna eat and how you're gonna um, not be out on the street. So um, we're just gonna keep up and. Pray that Congress comes together. They send these people their money. And hopefully the, um, they will restart the unemployment so that people can, um, until these corporations and these companies um, open back up or um, begin to let people come back in to work, however they're doing it, you know, modified or whatever. Because I honestly feel, guys, Although the rate is going down here, it's um, slowly trickling down. I believe we're going to have another shutdown. We need to be ready. That might need to be another topic. Anyway, guys, so um, like I said before, if you have any um, topics that you wanted to talk about, it can be something um, funny you want to talk about, experiences, it could be about current events, whatever. Whatever it is you want to talk about. You got girlfriend problems or whatever the case. We can talk about it. But the first thing we got to do before I get my day started, got to have a cup of coffee. 
So make sure you leave any of your suggestions down in the description box. So guys, that is the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me some comments below. Let me know what you think. Also, if you are new to Wani's house, I would love for you to subscribe. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so that you won't miss out on any of my upcoming uploads. Also, guys, come on over and check out my Instagram. You can find me over there at Wani's house, just like it is right here. Hit that follow button and then you will be in the know as to what is to come over here at Wani's house. So guys, I'm about to go, but before I do, you know what I always say. The next time you're in town, you can always stop by Wani's house. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Mm. That's good.